Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. We are continuing our journey out to <clears throat> Sagittarius A-Star. We made it to our halfway point in the last episode. So now we're going to continue all the way out to the center of the galaxy, the supermassive black hole all the way out there. Let's go ahead and get up off the ground and on our way to the next destination. <coughs> As always, uh, let me do, go over the purpose of this journey. We're mostly trying to get a bunch of exobiology done. Um, and if we can scan some cool planets along the way, that's pretty nice too. Uh, as we approach Sagittarius A star over the next, you know, I don't know, it's probably going to take another 10 or 15 episodes to get there. But as we approach Sagittarius A star, I will more and more gauge community interest to see if you guys want to continue on to Beagle Point. If so, then uh, we'll go ahead and plan that out. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and end the series there and uh, get my shit back on my own time. <laughs> we'll see how uh, we'll see how all that goes. Our uh, when we're jumping into systems like this next one, I need to start remembering to recap how these things go so that I remember. How to go. So as we pop in, we'll pop our system scanner here. And then once that's done, we'll check to see if anybody has mapped the system already, but that doesn't really apply here because there's only two stars. So, and then after that, once we clear the star, we'll hop into the full spectrum system scanner to see if there are um, any water worlds, earth-like worlds, or ammonia worlds. And for systems with say 15 bodies or less, we might actually stop and do a full system scan of the area to see if we can find some planets to land on if no one else has done so already. Because we are looking for planets with biologies on them, with biological, uh, biological features on them so that we can go increase our exobiology skill and hopefully increase up all the way up to elite by the time we're done. Odyssey's been out for quite a long time. I just never got around to doing a bunch of exile biology because I was already an elite explorer because I used that road to riches thing back in when I first started this game to make a bunch of money. <laughs> I didn't need uh, I didn't need to do a bunch of exploring after that. All right, I think I'm gonna turn that music down just a little bit. That's a little high. There we go. All right, sorry about that. I generally try to keep the, the music level right around negative 30 decibels because that seems to be a good volume in contrast to my voice. So sometimes I don't know how loud a song's going to be and I'm not going to sit and listen to it the whole way through to get the levels right. So I have to make adjustments on the fly. As much as I don't want to be a streamer, I, sh I sure record like that. <laughs> uh, I just I, don't, I have no interest in really doing much in the way of streaming because you know, those streamers have to ha have to maintain a set schedule. There's just there's no freedom in that. You know, when you have to be on at a certain time. Ooh, I don't I don't really like that. That said, though, I do now have channel memberships available. Thank you very much to those of you who stuck it out or who uh, not going to say stuck it out, who chose to join my channel as a subscriber and helped push me over that 500 mark. That has given me the ability to uh, offer you guys channel memberships for those of you who find my content valuable enough to support financially. So there should be a new join button down below the viewer that you can press where you can join and get exclusive perks such as special stickers and things like that, which, you know, I know some of you guys really like. And also, I do plan on starting a weekly live stream that will have some kind of exclusive perk for those of you who are channel members. I'm thinking at this point that I don't want to limit my audience for those streams, but I do want to make sure that those of you who choose to support the channel are getting something that everyone else is not. So I think I'm going to make it so that the chat is only available to members. So I'm not sure if that works. Uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I'm thinking that's how it's going to work, but I don't really know because um, at the same time, I don't know if that's going to turn off the ability for other people to provide uh, super chats. I have to imagine it will. So I don't know, I, that just occurred to me now. I'm not really, I got, I got to kind of fine tune and figure out what I'm going to do because doing these, uh, doing these live streams is going to be, it's going to be difficult for me because I am an introvert and interacting with people is very difficult for me. So <laughs> I want to make sure that when I do them, I'm getting maximum opportunity. So I don't know. I actually need to think about that for, I need to think about that a little bit. Hmm. 
Well, leave your leave your feedback. If you're interested in becoming a member and you feel like that would be the part that drives you over the over the line into choosing to support the channel, let me know. Um, if you're listening to me talk about this and you're like, dude, why are you talking about money? You need to understand that uh, you are a business. Even if you're not working, you are a business and you should always be thinking about your money. And as a YouTuber who is trying to become a professional YouTuber, if I'm not thinking about money, I am not a professional. So I'm trying to figure out reasonable ways that aren't scummy or scammy or anything like that to provide you guys with value, but understand that part of that equation is going to be making decisions that are based on trying to get money. Because we all need to make a living, right? Nobody lives for free. Nobody gets... Ooh! How far... That's not that far away. Uh, we're probably going to go to that. Are any of these closer? How far away is this guy? Oh, that's way far away. All right, so we're definitely going to go to this guy here. Because he's got... He's got three freaking... Uh, he's got three freaking ones. So let's go over here. Oops, nope, not him. Uh, that one. There we go. All right. So uh, I'll fly over here, and then I'll be back when we're ready to do our scan. This is awesome. All right, we're getting close to the planet. Almost time to drop out. I did stop along the way to check the full spectrum system scanner to verify that there's no water worlds or anything like that here. So <clears throat> we're good on that front. Let's go ahead and come to a complete stop here so we can get our scan done. Looks like we only need two.